Hello. I just, hello. <laughs> My, look. That's not very pretty. So, I, I, in, I took the, the bobbin out twice. Oh, wait a minute, come on. I took the bobbin out twice. Didn't work. So, take the needle plate off. Put it over there. And I look in here and it's dirty dirty keeping your machine clean will save you bundles of money i don't know if that's what was going on but that's the first place to start because if you don't when you take it into the repair shop they'll do it in front of you and then you'll be feeling like oh <laughs> no just kidding. So you take a, a, a Q-tip and you wipe this out. Well, actually, I'm going to take I'm going to take this out and wipe it every which way. And um, I don't know. I don't know if you can use um, alcohol on these parts. I really don't know. But I just kind of, when my Q-tip gets dirty, I just pull. And then I'm, I'm going in here. Oh yeah, it was real dirty. Look at, look at, look, you're right. It was filthy dirty. There was threads broken off down in there. Oh, I didn't mean to yell at you, but this was so, so filthy. And I'm the one that's always telling you, keep your machine clean. See what happens when you get busy? I was just busy, busy making one video after another. I'm trying to stay out of your way so you can see how I clean this. But sometimes um, threads or something will fall down in here and it, it just uh, gets stuck and doesn't work very well and while you're in here just kind of go around and look poke in every little nook and cranny you can get look at that and and don't take a compressed air to this because um, what you'll do is you'll just blow the dust deeper into the machine. Look at that. I'm, I'm embarrassed, folks. I am just absolutely embarrassed. And so why am I showing you? Just to caution you so you won't break your machine. That's why I'm doing this. I look back in here. Okay, now I'm not through cleaning. I mean, this is another essential part. If you're still with me, I want you to see this too. Because this is important. Oil. Right there in the middle. If I didn't clean it, in a while, then that's pretty good idea that I didn't at all. And it just takes one little drop. Huh. I don't want to get the oil all over everything. Just one little drop. But it's been so a while, so I'm gonna wait and see if that gets absorbed. This is just machine oil that I've got. Yep, there it goes. It's getting absorbed. 
but that's going to do it. Okay, one drop. But I, I like to wait around and make sure. Okay, well, you don't need to see me struggle with that. Um, I'll, but I'm afraid it'll spill. Here we go. I'm afraid, I'm worried about a spill, and I had to squeeze it to get it out. Um, sometimes I wonder about the things I say. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Now we got to put this back in. That doesn't look right. I think it's got to be this way. Yeah, okay. They give you diagrams for threading the needle. Okay. why I don't clean my machine very often this very thing I'm I'm just incapable of doing properly I don't know where that hole is supposed to go I don't know where th that's supposed to go I think that's supposed to go down oh now I'm getting somewhere Oh, is that it? There. It's a little better lined up. I don't think it is, though. That's getting worse. There. When you feel it, you know it. Whew. Thank you, Father, for getting me through that. And this needs to be up. I've got to thread that needle again. Bottom goes in so the thread is on top. You, it's probably a lot easier <laughs> for you all to do this than it is for me. Thank you. I'm so sorry if that was painful. I just wanted to have somebody with me. Now, in order to thread this needle, I'm going to have to go uh, unlock it. Raise my needle down and up and down and up. get my serious glasses on. 
lock that baby down and making sure my needle is secure because it's been through something. Get out my trusty chapstick. get my background, which, well, There you have it. Not so bad. Not so bad at all. Now I just have to pick this out. 